Okay. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm clapping. Yep. The coffee's definitely gone cold. Doesn't taste bad. This has definitely gone cold. Hi, hello. I hope that you are doing well. Today was meant to be Luigi's Mansion. Uh, as you can tell, it is not. We had a couple of diff technical difficulties. Um, they're being resolved, but in the meantime, we've got a backup game. Uh, this is Home Safety Hotline, where, as it sounds, we are a hotline service for home safety. It's found in the horror games section of Steam, so I'm suspecting some, some spookiness. So let's do it. Face the job complete. All right, so we have something in our mailbox and something in TV commercial. All right, let's check the mailbox. Uh, welcome. Due to an error on our archival network, some of you may have noticed photo uh, video files from our video archive appearing on your desktop. Please disregard these. They will be cleared up in due time. What videos? To be fair, if this was like an actual work thing, like I probably wouldn't click it, but because of the game, absolutely. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, black mold, Ew. metamorphosis. Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. 555 five, five, home safety. That still feels like a really long phone number. Like, I understand that it's slightly different in the US, but even then, that feels like a, a long number for what I've seen to be US numbers. Uh, oh. That's probably the thing to click. Monday. No, okay, that is indeed blurry at top. I was like, <laughs> my glass is that, uh, that in need of a clean that the top of my screen is blurry, but no, it is intentional, I think. I took my glasses off and looked and it was still blurry, so <laughs> I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that it's, that that's the case. Uh, welcome employee, to begin shift, please clock in below. Uh, no current caller, no entry selected. A lot, a lot of uh, entry inaccessibles. What's this one? Ugh. Wait, can I, I can't even scroll past the photo. Ugh. I just had this heart attack. Oh, oh, we've got a phone call. Thank you. Welcome uh, to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. All right. So, bed bugs. Ugh. The solution um, is to utilize the HSH pest removal service. Why does this sound like everything's going to point back to HSH so they can like make some extra buck? We've got bees as an audio sample. Okay. Uh, the solution is to remove bees from a household one with four. Oh. John here. My wife I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. I haven't gotten through everything. Please hold. Alright, so hang on. It could potentially be black mold. Cockroaches. Go for it. This is so cute! <laughs> Housefly. House spider. Mice. Mole. Raccoon. Oh look at him, he's just looking for a hug. Uh, termites. Ticks. Ugh. 
I think that it might be uh, black mold. Good job. Let's go back to the raccoon one while we wait for another call. Uh, because he's so cute. Please, may I have some more? Sounds kind of like, e e e e you know? It's Sounds like she's got mice in the attic. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I don't actually know how large raccoon poops are, so he's talking like huge. Do gophers leave? The best answer I've got is raccoons. The one, at least the best answer I have accessible to me right now. you to think more carefully on the answers you provide before we are forced to terminate you've been warned i'm sorry i don't have a lot of information accessible to me like i can't even like research them getting phone calls in john here again i got beef with you your people gave me bad info so they didn't have black mold but she said like black spots jeez uh, Twig Sigmund here, just calling to inform you that, uh, your refrigerator's been running loud over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Been running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. That picture was a delightful picture. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good-for-nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. His shift has ended. Accuracy 50%. Okay. Alright. Uh, quit before it's too late. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Uh, quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. What is this? Oh, that's like actual credits. <laughs> Tuesday. Is Tuesday like the second day of the week because it sounds like Tuesday? Do we have any new entries accessible to us? Doesn't look like it. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Thank you! Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, permissions have now been updated. So we have, uh, oh, okay, that's right, they're marked as new. We have stair slug. Oh, I don't even know what a stair slug is. Why are you calling me? Hank here. That's strike two with you people. First you tell me there's nothing. Then you send me the wrong information. They're all staring at me now. They want me to. They want me to climb inside the tunnel. I, I must go inside. Oh. I must pay for my sins. Uh, stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs. <laughs> Frequently feed on other pests such as mice, hobs, uh, mice and hobs. But the slimy residue they leave behind. <sighs> Um, so that's not going to be stair slugs for starters. Oh, look at it! It's actually so cute. Desk cob. Mm. Uh, carbon monoxide. I don't think this is a carbon monoxide thing. Um, he'd probably already be done for while I was looking it all up. Uh, bed teeth. That's that's a new one for sure. Uh, bat. Oh, look at him! He's so cute. Um. I'm wondering if it is like genuinely black mold in this particular thing because it's known to cause like allergic reactions and breathing problems, which it sounds like he has. Just tell everyone that it's black mold. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like maybe to disguise the robbery? 
I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Yo, Buzz yeah. Cooper That's here. Right. I'm having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? Called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. She just wanted to call. Okay. Understandable. I have like one mouthful left, I might as well just like... Coffee fair is done. Just in time. Help me, please! I'm gonna assume mice, probably. What's the difference between a mole and a gopher? Yeah, I'm gonna tell her it's probably mice. Is this what most people who work call centers feel like? when they're working and they're waiting for a call to come in. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Okay. Sounds like scratching or something. I'm going to suggest a fracture hob because I don't actually have any further information enough to like definitively say anything and we'll probably just get a bunch of more complaints because uh, quite clearly I am not cut out for call center work. Also, though, if I'd gotten a phone call, I would have been clarifying extra information. Did this happen? Did this... I need oh my goodness. Security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through <laughs> my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need uh, your best home security equipment. Pronto! Uh, this is a desk. This is a desk hub. This is, this is a desk hub, 100%, like straight off the bat. And if I'm wrong about this, then I will quit right now. Like, breaking in, for starters, uh, but tidying his paperwork and shit on his desk and like, nah, a accuracy 80%. We did better today. Oh, broadcast, what's this? Oh, these are the videos we were told not to watch. Maybe. Real estate update. 84,000 for a home. Oh, one bed, two bath, thousand square feet. Uh, two bed, three bath, uh, 1.6 square, thousand square feet uh, for 104,000. Four bed, five bath, uh, 2.1 thousand square feet for 120,000. Are you kidding me? Community alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following uh, counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Berry County. I'm not going to remember that. Um, a two bed, two bathroom, 1.3 square feet, 89,000. are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown okay. shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report and... Wait, wait, does it say five? Five bed, six bathroom for twelve thousand dollars. Uh, it's too late for you now. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up uh, like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. Okay. Uh, attention call team uh, is migrating our back-end service over to a new hosting provider this week. You may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Be Please be sure you're studying your information care entries uh, carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you're on the phone with a client. You will still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network status. Awesome, cool. I don't have a great memory, so this is going to work perfectly. So, bats, um, uh, bed bugs, 
bugs are obviously a bed infestation. Uh, bed teeth uh, a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone shape uh, cone like shapes on the underside of bed sheets and blankets or comforters should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your amazing home. you're giving me more information please when the network's about to go down carefully so you can continue please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs thank Hi. you we're sharing this with all of you Bees are probably pretty self-explanatory. Uh, black mold uh, is that they're known to grow in moist, warm locations. Appear frequently as small black dots. I can't just fell through the frickin' wall. A bogger. A uh, bogger is the general term for a metamorphous, morphous, uh, I don't, um, <laughs> metamorphosed hob. Sure, we'll go with that. They are large, hairy humanoids between six to uh, seven feet tall and bear fairly convincing false faces. I should probably double check first, but that does actually sound like one of the slug things that we read about before. No, uh, no. due to the clerical error, the audio sample provided above is incorrect. The issue will be corrected by the end of the month. We're going to listen to that in a second. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this... Ugh, nasty smell. Please okay. hold. A wine sprite? Is it a pipe hop? That doesn't quite sound correct. I guess the best thing I've got is a pipe, a pipe hop, but mm, I'm not really confident on that either. Uh, whistling fungi. Okay, so something stole her face. Do we have something that steals people's faces? Um, mirror nymph? Maybe? Hang on, because we didn't get a proper... Uh, it's unknown for stealing the likeliness of homeowners and passerbys. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon uh, onto others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs uh, commonly report not being able to recognise their own face. That's a little different. That's... Nah. Oh, there you go. Cockroaches uh, have droppings that appear co similar to coffee grounds. Oh, there you go. So, I think the best answer I have is the mirror nymph. But that also doesn't quite feel correct. Can I send entry inaccessible stuff to clients? Like, is that a thing? I just want to listen to my stuff. We've received complaints that some of the answers that you have been providing have been inaccurate. This is my second warning. It doesn't help when I don't have like full access to stuff and like stuff that I do have doesn't quite feel like it fits the... Alright, so we have the sound of a tea sprite. I didn't have anything that fit better. Hey, yeah, uh, name's Fred Pinball, so I'm whatever. Have to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. <laughs> do they have a sound? They do. Uh, hi? My sheets are growing oh. nasty sharp things on them We've got and bed, my legs bed itch teeth. like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Ugh. So first of all, dude, yes, you 100% should be showering uh, Please, more oh. often. Uh, but um, the sharp things tell me that it's possibly bed teeth. Oh, network error. Dang it. Mold. What are these useless instructions you sent me? I still can't remember her. I still oh. can't see her face. Oh, okay.
Okay, I see. He... Okay, she wasn't, like, dead in front of him. We're, like, out of focus. Hang on. Is that better? I was told to call this number to ask about my problems. He knows just how naughty that would be. Uh, that sounds like a fracture hob. Good job. So it's the squeaking of mice. Let me... No, that so sounds like you ignored the advice. Tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out now. Please hold. Um, it does sound like he's had a hob turn into a bogger. Potentially. Um, electrical outages. Yeah, so he's just like, Are you kidding me? Like all of this sort of stuff. And it's like, you were told the accurate information by the sounds of things, and I can bug it. That's on you, buddy. So we know that. Ugh. Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed in your performance here. Many of our callers' lives have been altered for the worse thanks to your negligent answers. Your failure to treat your work here with the gravity it deserves has unfortunately forced us to make a very difficult choice in regards to your continued employment at HSH. Okay. Effective immediately, your employment here has been terminated. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Oh, oh. this oh am i like a am i a hob now all right you are unemployed all right well i just became unemployed uh so we're gonna leave this one here especially because my camera is really struggling to focus and i don't know why thank you for watching we will try to complete this one in another episode um, it's probably only one more episode worth to actually, to actually do, but yes, if you are unaware of all the Spooktober events that are going on, there is some form of content every single day, uh, for the month of October. So we've had streams the past few days, um, and then content today, we'll have, I think it's a stream tomorrow, if you're watching this like the day it comes out, uh, stream tomorrow, content Sunday, and then just like... A whole bunch of stuff so there is a link in the description uh for the discord so you can actually see the updated uh weekly schedule as it unfolds uh for all the various different different forms of content that we have so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye